Hello my beautiful beard growing friends. So today we're gonna to talk about the three ways that you can keep your beard looking fresh. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because I'm gonna talk about all things beards, maintenance, and everything that I've learned over the past two years growing this beard and all of the mistakes I've made as well. So I'm gonna share those with you and I'd love for you to subscribe. Okay, let's talk about the top three ways that you can keep your beard looking fresh and being fresh, like smelling fresh as well. That's probably the most important thing, right? Now, no one likes a stinky beard. Uh, that's one of the things about these beards. You know, you can get a pretty hard rap, these beards. They end up in the press being like, beards are dirtier than dog poo. Um, you know, it contains human poop. Uh, it is dirtier than a, a dog's fur. You know, like beards get a pretty hard rap in the press. So making sure that you're keeping your beard absolutely fresh and awesome is so important. Now, let's look at the top reasons why a beard may not be fresh. So first of all, we're looking at sebum. So sebum is the natural oil that your skin on your face produces. And so that oil is really just to keep all of the skin nice and nourished and conditioned. And also like the beard hairs, it kind of seeps down. It's, it's a good thing. But the problem is when you've got a beard, it gets trapped at the base of the hairs and at the, towards the roots. And that, if it builds up for too long, can become a place for bacteria and other nasties to lurk, uh, you know, funguses even. Um, and the sebum and oil and dirt and grossness that's there can be something that the beard bacteria feasts on and then it's their ex excrement of like all the fatty acids and stuff, they eat that, and that's what causes a beard to smell. Now, some people have reported their beard can smell like onions, can smell like garlic, can smell like cheese, and some people can say that it even smells like vomit. I've actually just written an article on can beards smell and other smelly gross things on beardgrowingpro.com. So go check those out and uh, yeah, see if any of those are familiar to you. Um, so yeah, we've talked a little bit about bacteria, but bacteria and funguses in the beard can cause it to smell gross, be not fresh, and look, no one wants a musty smelling beard, and people particularly don't want musty smelling beards near them or in their faces. Um, and bacteria and fungus, you know, you can't really get away from it. In a post-COVID world, I think everyone's become so uh, sort of familiar with cleanliness, how easy it is that bacteria and viruses can be passed to one another, all because of things we touch, right? We're touching things, we touch our beard, we go to the bathroom, we touch our beard. There's all of these gross ways that bacteria can get into your beard, let alone, you know, the ones that naturally uh, are on your skin. Um, and so yeah, bacteria and avoiding touching your beard and just good hand hygiene is a really awesome way of keeping your beard fresh. Um, the third way that your beard can become not fresh is due to the environment that you're in. Now, beards are like one massive sponge. They have got so much surface area. You know, each hair on its own has got its own surface area. Smells can get stuck up in there. It can stick to your skin. Um, and so beards will mop up the smells of the environment that you're in. Now, if you work in particularly stinky environments, maybe like in an oily kitchen, or um, if you're working with fish and meat and whatever else that could be a little bit whiffy, uh, it can end up being absorbed into your beard. So it's a good idea to wash regularly, and we'll talk about that in a moment when we talk about the tips to keep your beard looking fresh. Um, and smelling fresh, I keep on saying looking, but smelling and, and the kind of hygiene stuff I think is, is so much more important. Um, and yeah, the final thing that I wanna talk about is food. So when I have food, it, there's no 
way that I cannot get some of it all the time into my beard. And that's kind of like one of the grossest things about having a beard is that, you know, summer's come along, coming along now and I love smoothies, but it gets all stuck in the mustache. And smoothies are like milk, um, soy milk, you know, mushed up fruits. Uh, juices of some other, you know, fruits and stuff. So it's really just this stink fest that can happen in the mustache. So I've become a fan of using straws. I've become a fan of uh, carrying napkins so that I can always just wipe and get the stuff out of my beard. I know that sounds gross, but it is the reality of having a beard. And that food can cause gross stink stuff to appear in your beard. Another way that uh, food can influence the smell of your beard and keep it not as fresh as you may want um, is because the food that you eat can influence the smell of your like body's excretions. And in this case, we're talking like that, that, that sebum. So if you eat a lot of garlic, if you eat a lot of onions, you can actually end up with a beard that smells like garlic and onions because, oh okay, sneeze. <coughs> You can end up with a beard that smells like garlic and onions because that onion and garlic smell comes out in your sweat and sebum into your beard. Okay, now those are the reasons why your beard could potentially be smelling bad. Um, you need to avoid all of those, but these are the three steps that you can use to always just get rid of those problems. And the first one probably is no surprise to anyone. Okay, the first one is all about laying the foundations of having a fresh beard. And it's no surprise that that means having a really awesome shampoo and conditioning schedule. Now, I like to shampoo and condition my beard probably every two to three days. Um, and that's because I live in a relatively dry environment. I don't have a mucky job. Um, my beard isn't particularly oily. Um, and so that works well for me. Now, the one thing that you need to know about beard shampoos is that they do not discriminate when they strip the grossness from your beard. There is no discrimination between the good natural oils that may build up and the stuff that you've collected throughout your week. So you really are stripping away all of the things that could potentially moisturize your beard naturally as well. And so that's why it's important to back up a really good shampoo with a really great conditioner, something with organic ingredients. I've actually got a great um, article on the best beard soaps. Go check that out on Beard Grow pro but it is so important that, that, that you remove the grime but then you replace it with good things that can keep your beard moisturized and smelling good um, and a good beard conditioner is kind of the first step to that so remove everything condition it boom now let's talk about the second thing you can do which is a beard balm beard butter or beard oil now, I used to think that these products were a load of baloney. I would often, you know, see them and be like, oh, it's just a way for to part me with more money, to part me with products I don't need, this anti-capitalist, anti-consumer sort of feeling that I had really sort of just boiled up when I saw these products but they do help. You know, there's, there's no reason to not try them, I guess is my point, if you are finding that you have a particularly whiffy, smelly, or non-fresh beard. Um, yeah, so a beard oil is, you know, just a fantastic thing to use every day. I make my own. Um, I'll do a video on my DIY beard oil. It's surprisingly simple. It's just mixing things in the right ratios. Um, beard balms, I make my own beard balm, and beard butter as well. And so look, each of these has got its own benefits. Mainly they're there to condition and keep your beard fresh, but some of them do contain beard wax. Now the thing about the beard wax is that it, it can build up in your beard. And so that's why you need to wash every two to three days, just to remove that wax. Because if that wax builds up too much, it can leave your beard looking messy, it can leave your beard um, looking greasy and, and gross. So we definitely don't want that. Um, so yeah, removing the waxes is so important. And that's when finding that right balance between shampooing and using products, you know, every two to three days seems to be about the sweet, part, sweet point for me, but you'll need to also work that out for your beard 
uh, and the conditions and environment and length of beard, all of that stuff for you. So don't be worried about playing about a little bit. The third thing that I wanna talk about are essential oils. Now this isn't about some magical cure oil woo, uh, you know, my skepticism flares up when I hear people talk about essential oils, but there is science to support that essential oils are great for antibacterial and antifungal properties. Um, these are essential oils that can help keep your beard fresh by combating the anti antibacterial or the bacteria and the fungus that could grow in your beard. Um, a great thing is as well is they are relatively strong smelling, which means that uh, not only do you get rid of the bacteria, but you can replace it with an awesome smell. Let's look at the probably the two or three that I always include in my products because they have an antibacterial or an antifungal property. So when I'm making my DIY beard balm, beard oils, beard butters, these are the three things that I generally always include. Now it doesn't mean you include a load of them, you just include the like tiniest amounts. That's all you need in here because I found that if I add too much, I end up with a completely overwhelming and overpowering smell that lasts too long and just doesn't smell right. Um, so the first one is peppermint oil. I love peppermint oil, uh, especially for products that I put on in the morning. Not only does it feel fresh and nice um, and sort of minty on your skin and beard, but it does have antibacterial and antifungal properties. Um, the second one I use is tea tree oil. Now you have to be very careful with tea tree oil. It's got a bit of a bad rap in the past because it's in a lot of kind of the new age hippie products um, and you can just end up smelling really like like too much, like it's very overpowering. It's like when you go into those incense stores and it's just too much. You can end up smelling too much like tea tree oil. So, you know, I put probably about one or two drops in each product and I don't overdo it at all. And that's exactly the same with eucalyptus as well. Eucalyptus oil is a fantastic oil for keeping your beard bacteria free, for keeping it fresh, for keeping it all of, all of the good, you know, so it's just such a great all-rounder. The issue is, is that there are a lot of cleaning products that use eucalyptus oil because of that, that, those awesome properties. Now, that means that you can smell like the inside of a toilet, a freshly cleaned public toilet, and no one wants that. Um, it is really overpowering, so you do have to be very careful with uh, tea tree and eucalyptus, but the benefit is, is that you do get those extra properties, um, the antibacterials, the antifungal stuff that, that they bring along with them. So yes, it is a balancing act, but always, uh, what I like to do is if I'm not sure, I'll just put like one or two drops in and just see, you can always add more, but you can never reduce the amount um, it's always very hard to after you put them into your oil. You can evaporate off some of the smell because they're more volatile. But uh, yeah, just creep up on it. Another thing I do, and on my if you go to beergrownpro.com, go to my essential uh, recommended tools page, you'll see that I've got an unscented oil. And this is a really great way. There are a load of of like unscented products that you can add your essential oils to. So if you do need a little bit of extra help getting your beard fresh, then you can buy an unscented product and add these oils into it. And that is a really awesome way of uh, taking control of how fresh your beard is. So there we are, there are my top tips for keeping your beard fresh. Let me know in the comments what you would add. Um, clearly I haven't touched on like it looking fresh, like defining the lines and trimmed and nice, um, but I have got how to trim a beard, go check out that video. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you would add to that list and let's help each other keep our beards staying fresh.